Hey guys, what's up? It's me Greg here with a new video for you guys. This is actually going to be a mock showcase. I'm on a little bit of a different setup, so please don't mind the... There's some stuff in the way, I guess. But, uh, yeah, today we're going to be jumping into my mock and a continuation series following my previous mock, which I don't know if I've showed you guys yet. It's... Uh, actually, I probably have. It's the... The little pool. It's like white tile and everything with some Russians in it. So we're following off that. The story will be posted in my Flickr post, um, which I will link in the description of this video. So if you'd like to check that out, I think it'll be a pretty neat story. Y'all can head over there, read it up. Um, so yeah, we're going to jump right into it. I do not have a title for it yet. I think I'm just going to title it um, Shipment or Cargo or Dock or, I don't know, some shipping yard. Um, that's kind of the vibe I was getting when I was doing this, and that's what I had in mind. I wanted to do more shipping containers, like this red one right here, except they're just really big. They take up a lot of space, um, and they take up a lot of tiles. I could have done it in black, maybe dark bluish gray and light bluish gray, um, but I really wanted to do it in the medium blue, except those 2x2 two two tiles are expensive and hard to find um, from a store that had other items that I was looking for, so... Ended up just canceling that idea, and we're here with just the one. Uh, so yeah, we're going to jump right in again. Please disregard anything going on on the sides. It's to allow for the lighting to not be too awful. So, yep. Uh, I guess we'll start over here in this corner. Um, you've got just a bunch of boxes and crates and bags and items that you might find in a shipping yard. Um, just scattered around with um, a tad bit of Russian equipment. Um, you've got a riot shield, a shotgun, a gas mask, and the Russian helmet. Um, do not know what it's called, but pretty cool. Uh, then you've got just a random tire chilling on a box. Um, the ground is mostly 1x2 tiles. There are some 1x2 plates and half plates and... Sorry, one by one plates, and then those curved quarters right there. Um, so yeah, those have been scattered all around the build here. Um, just to add some texturing to the to the ground to make it not so uniform, and I think it looks pretty nice. There are definitely some spots I would go back and touch up, but I think it is good for what we've got um, over here. You've got some containers, or um, I don't know, like drum barrels, I guess, with some sort of fluid. I was aiming for gasoline, but I didn't have something that I think would work best for that. I didn't have trans one or trans two by two round tiles, so just went with this olive green color. I think it looks good. It kind of, you know, adds to the other olive green colors that are scattered around the build. Um, gives it a little bit more color. So then we're going to move on to this building right over here. Um, this is some short sort of uh, manifest office, something along those lines. I, I in mind, I had this door would lead straight up some stairs to maybe a small bedroom living area where there might be um, these rooms right there would be utilized. And then on this side, you would have like a little, I guess, carport where you could pull a car in or other shipping container items. And there would be a little office down here um, where that door would lead into it and have kind of like an open window that you could view into um, the car area or the, the shipping container area. Um, kind of reminds me a lot of my local um, car repair or mechanic shop, I guess. That's the vibe that I was getting. Um, the idea that I kind of had behind the building. Um, then you've got some lamps. Uh, then a drainage pipe with a cable wrapped around it, um, which is like a power cable for the antenna up here, which I think is a nice little detail. And then some other wiring or cabling, I don't really know what that might be. You can uh, think of that for yourself. Um, the house itself is elevated a little bit. I wanted to give it a little bit more height to make it stand out off the generic um, one by two tiles here, so I gave it a snot brick um, height, which equates to a brick and two plates. So 
that's how that worked. Um, and then of course continuing on with the tiling, I really like the effect of a bunch of one by ones intermingled with one by one plates and quarter tiles and you know just give it some detail. I really like that effect. I think it looks pretty good. So I went with that. Um, again see look you can see more of this uh this lighting issue so that is why the box is here to prevent the glare so yep <clears throat> excuse me uh then we're moving over here we've got a little generator of some sort that has a power cable that's attached to this lamp pole which the russians have set up um so yep this is a, a quick little backstory i guess it's some eu forces who are um, attacking a Russian occupied port or shipping yard, something like that. Um, you've got the big shipping container over here and some crates, barrels, um, variety of them over there. Uh, then you have a net and another one of these dark tan crates over here with a barrel, some skis. I just thought those were nice details. Um, the 2x2 two two round thing that has a hole could be used as a basketball hoop, I thought about that. Or I was thinking maybe a life preserver, I just didn't have one in orange, so I just threw the black one out there, why not? Um, then a PP90 just hanging out, you know, having a good time. Some other details and a shovel. Um, then back over here to the middle, we have a trash can that has been lit on fire um, to provide light. I'm not sure. Uh, you saw it a lot in the Call of Duty games, I'll tell you that for sure. Um, then you've got the two Russian soldiers who are patrolling their way through the the dock or the shipping yard, I guess. Um, right over here, you have a toolbox, some tools, and another small dark brown crate with a little red um, bucket just hanging out. Um, if we take a closer look at the house, I used a medium blue color with windows and to give it a little bit of a variation I have light bluish gray and dark green scattered throughout the house um, to give it some sort of texture and then moving on to the reason why I built the house in the first place was the light aqua um, I also got some other colors light aqua and yellowish green in here just to kind of give it a sort of used vibe like the color is wearing away I guess or it's withering uh, it's turning into a different shade of white so that is what I was going with and I kind of textured it throughout the entire house I would have liked to do some more I bought a whole bunch of parts just for this and I ended up only using a couple but I'll definitely be using those again in another um, mock continuing the final mock in this little series unless I continued on after that but yeah, um, so you've got these EU soldiers right here, um, or NATO. They're supposed to be German, um, forgot the commandos. Um, there's a certain name for them. Um, but yeah, these guys are just about to breach and clear this shipping yard. They're kind of stacking up right here. And then you have the lone one over here. He's just hanging out. Supposedly there's supposed to be another little squad um, coming in this way, and they're going to pinch the Russians here in the middle. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess I'll show you guys a quick little view of the roof. Um, it's offset by half a stud um, on both sides, so it actually hangs over the side of the mock a little bit. But yeah, uh, that is pretty much it. I also, oh, let me fix that, it's bothering me. I also did a little pallet design. Um, I was supposed to have a forklift in here and the pallets were gonna be on the forklift, but it didn't work out, so it's not the end of the world, but Definitely, I think this mock looks pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to check out the story that I will have linked in the description, which will take you to my Flickr page. On there, I'll have a picture of it with a whole whole story. So, yeah. Um, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.